So today we start about listening to God first, last, and always so we can get comfortable in the light. The idea of obeying Jesus starts with understanding what Jesus is telling you. In Luke 18, 22, it says this, when Jesus heard this, he said to him, one thing you still lack, sell all you have and distribute it to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven and then come follow me. Now we know that that is the story about a rich young ruler who wants to follow Jesus. He asked Jesus what he has to do to be saved. And really what God is saying is you have to love him first, last, and always. You have to be willing to give up whatever it is you've put in front of him. And in the case of the rich young ruler, it was money. But for us, it could be anything. What is it that if you were standing before Jesus, he would say, this is the one thing you lack. This is the thing you haven't given to me. Get rid of that. Give it to someone else, and then you will have everything you could have imagined if you just come follow me. Some of you say, well, how am I supposed to listen to him? I don't even know what it sounds like. Well, it's not an audible voice, but it's a voice that you recognize is not you, and it's not the enemy. It's the one who loves you and knows you better than anyone and speaks to you in this deep spot in scripture, Jesus put it like this. He said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Now, the knowing his voice, you know often when you're hearing from God. And if you're a Christian, if you've given your life to him, you know his voice. He says you do. And he says, and if you follow him, you're going to hear his voice. And so all you have to do is be open to hearing that voice. And God is going to touch you in places you can't even fathom. But he may call you to places you can't fathom also. Hearing his voice in Hebrew means to hear and obey are the same words. So he's also saying, my sheep, obey my voice. And I know them and they follow me. They do what I am doing. So get comfortable in that light. In John 18, he says, again, Jesus spoke to them. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That is what it means to obey God. First, last, and always. Hear his voice. Follow him. Make it first and get comfortable in that light. In your whole life. Not just a time when you're with other Christians, but your whole life being comfortable in the light of God. That's my prayer for you today and my challenge to you. God bless.